What's up, YouTube? This is Alpha Zulu 737 and we here cover everything aviation related from A through Z. Today, we will be taking a look at the Flight Velocity Dual Yoke Panel. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, check us out on Twitch, because we highlight this Dual Yoke Panel with gameplay. All right, let's get this video rolling. So first thing you're gonna do is buy everything that we have right here for this new double yoke panel by Flight Velocity. I also suggest you get a box cutter, some scissors and some sandpaper to help you just open up all these boxes and to help with the Flight Velocity panel. So first thing we're gonna buy is a flight yoke system. Included is the yoke and the throttle quadrant. The next thing we're gonna buy is a switch panel. The next thing we're gonna buy are two radio panels and the flight multi-panel otherwise known as your autopilot panel. And then we're going to buy the six flight instrument panels known also as the pilot six pack. So the next thing you're gonna need is the 10 port USB 3.0 hub and a six or seven port USB 2.0 hub. And yes, both of these ports are essential to the flight panel. Next thing on the list is Flight Velocity's dual yoke panel, which I did not customize at all and bought it straight off their website. First thing to unbox are the six flight instrument panels by Logitech slash Sciatech. And remember to always keep all the instructions and always keep everything that is included with these panels. As shown, there are six pre-programmed buttons, S1 through S6, plus two dials that are already calibrated to fit with any compatible flight simulator. The next thing to unbox are the two flight radio panels that can be placed anywhere inside of the cockpit and that will be working with each other throughout your aviation simulator. I decided to put both of my radio panels in the very middle of my dual yoke cockpit for a more realistic feel inside of your simulator. The Logitech Flight Radio Panel comes with XPDR, DME, ADF, NAV2, NAV1, COM2, and COM1 pre-programmed buttons, plus a bigger dial and a smaller dial for each radio frequency. The next thing you also have is an act or standby button to easily navigate between frequencies. Next thing to open up is your flight switch panel, also known as your light switch panel, which can activate any lights throughout your aircraft. The flight switch panel comes with a key starter button, as well as two master switches and many avionics masters slash light switches throughout the aircraft. It also comes with the gear up and gear down, which will activate the landing gear lights on the flight switch panel. The next thing to open up is the flight multi-panel, also acting as your autopilot panel. This panel comes with a knob that can activate all autopilot functions, as well as buttons to activate any of those autopilot functions. It also comes with a knob to change any of the numbers on screen, as well as a big auto throttle arm and off, as well as flaps which go up or down, and as well as a pitch trim wheel. The next thing to unbox are two Logitech yokes, as well as your clamp that comes with it. For the primary yoke, I've actually added this Leo Bodnard board proven by this secondary wire coming out of the yoke, which reduces dead zone about 5 degrees in every angle, and I fully support you buying this Leo Bodnard board if you want the most realistic feel. The next thing to open are the two throttle quadrants, each with three different axles and six programmable buttons. And the next thing to unbox are the two different USB ports to grant you power throughout your flight panel. If you're wondering why we have two different USB ports, one as a 3.0 and the other one as a 2.0, it is because the six different 
flight instrument panels can only work on USB 2.0s as the yokes and all other panels can work on USB 3.0s. And the last thing to open is the flight velocity double yoke panel which comes with 6 slots for your flight instrument panels and 4 more slots for your autopilot, 2 radio, and 1 light panel. The next thing that comes in the box are many different screws and fasteners which will help you place on the panels and yokes to your flight panel. The next thing that comes in the bag are two different yoke shelves which will help you place your yoke onto the flight panel along with a throttle quadrant shelf which we will not be using for this project because we have two yokes and of course the C-clamp. And last but not least are many different foam strips which can help your flight panel be protected from your table and vice versa. Alongside this is of course an instruction manual which you will not be using because you have this great YouTube video. And boom, that is all of the unboxing of packages that you will need for this double yoke project. And this next part is by far the hardest part in the flight panel process in which you will need to remove all little templates and panels throughout the entire double yoke system. And due to this hard plastic, I suggest you get box cutters to remove any little nubs as well as grab some sandpaper to even further remove those nubs. Once you have all edges sanded down, you will go ahead and place one flight instrument panel through the little hole and make sure that the stand is on the other side of the flight panel. The next thing you're going to do is place in that universal screw that came with the flight velocity package and then go ahead and tighten it with a fastener on the other side. As you can tell, this is not going to be tight enough, so I suggest you get some pliers and screw in the nail with the screwdriver on the other side of the flight panel. After you make sure that screw is nice and snug, I suggest you go ahead and put on both throttle quadrants just to see how they work out. First, you are going to feed the wire through that little hole, and then using the provided nails of the throttle quadrant, and not the universal nails provided by flight velocity, you're going to head and go screw in those throttle quadrants with the screwdriver and make sure that they're very nice and snug. An important note is that you will not be using any of these throttle quadrant clamps that are given to you with the throttle quadrant. And after you screw in all of these panels nice and snug, you are going to go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back because this is the hardest part of building this double yoke panel. An important note at this time of the build is that you will need to move both of your yokes and the entire flight panel to the final spot that you will be placing your flight panel at. The next thing you must do is remove the six different screws on top of each yoke and then go ahead and place the shelf on top of it using these same screws. The next thing you're going to do is put in all three of those screws and connect it on the other side of the yoke shelf and you're going to fasten it with the included fasteners. Now would also be a great time to install any foam strips you might need to prevent your table or your flight panel from getting damaged. And now you are going to use the provided clamps to clamp in your yoke to your table. I would also highly suggest you getting about 15 to 20 pounds to put on the back of your yoke to ensure that the flight panel does not fall. Next thing you are going to do is connect all six flight instrument panels to the USB 2.0 port. And now you're going to get all of the other USBs and go and place them into that 10 port USB 3.0. I highly suggest you label all USB ports in case of further use. And voila, everything should be installed and now powered on. And remember, you do not need to add any downloads or install any downloads for any of these instrument panels to work. And if you have any troubleshooting problems as if you can't get any of the instruments on or maybe even some of the flight panels won't uh, work or light up, I suggest you unplug those USBs and plug them back in to maybe make sure that they start working again. And whenever you first turn on your computer, you should see each arrow be red and blinking for it to come to the screen. Once you enter your aviation simulator, all programs should boot up as shown. Also, if none of the flight panels work, just try turning on those master switches and they should be able to turn on. Hey guys, thanks for watching that quick YouTube tutorial video on the dual yoke flight panel. Be sure to take a look in your bottom left hand corner of your screen to find our social media tags. And also make sure to go check us out on Twitch for more dual yoke action gameplay. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.